What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was our Week 2 CWL matchup against Valor Morgulis, uh, the fine uh, sister clan and the Bye for Every family. Uh, absolutely fantastic match. I mean, 84 81 uh, was the victory for 2.0. Uh, kind of a messy war on both sides. Um, you know, a lot of sort of fails and successes and fails back and forth, that kind of thing. Um, and just when the dust settled, it, it kind of ended up being what it was. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, you know, overall, good job by the team. Uh, pretty good job by uh, VM, you know. Uh, really uh, ended up doing a good job on the 11s. Came away with a uh, few bully triples there. Uh, so overall, can't complain. I mean, really what it came down to was just the bully successes. Our 11s really shone through for us in this war. Um, both sides though, down all nine level, like just, uh, quite a few bullies. You will see six. There's a lot in there. Lots in there. It's flying through them and looking for 2.0 too. There's at least where are there? one, two, three, four, four. So, regardless, you know, tough war for the nines on both sides. Yeah, it was just kind of an interesting, messy war, I would uh, I would describe it. So, I uh, do want to show um, Kane's head on number six here. Uh, this little Town Hall 11 uh, bully Lalo, I'm really liking it. I think it's uh, becoming sort of the go-to strat for a lot of the Town Hall 11s right now to bully the tens. I uh, know you guys appreciate that. And, you know, really, uh, a lot of planning. Like, this is not easy. Like, this takes practice. This takes planning. Uh, not to mention a little bit of luck in a lot of cases. And, uh, like, really, like, this is this is kind of where the game's at right now. Um, so I feel these knowing how to do this is very, very important. Um, so you can see Kane's just really open. Just a typical funnel. It's like a shattered Lalo entry. And we had drop the jump spell, and guess what? What are we looking for in a Shattered Lalo, or any sort of Lalo? Let's get some air defense out of the way. Let's get the clan castle out of the way. Let's get that defensive queen out of the way. So that's exactly what he's doing here with the skill squad. Hits that Grand Warden ability, keeps things going right on through that stuff. Perfect timing with the bombs. Uh, one bowl or two only goes over to that side and triggers that bomb. That's kind of nice. Uh, everything moving through this core, huge value. There's only one air defense at the 9 o'clock location standing. Sends in the balloons now from the 6 o'clock. Gets the haste spells. It's going to basically run the balloons up the base now. The whole core is just completely gutted. <clears throat> And here come the balloons, two, two Lava Hounds in, right? Like, just buying so much time for these balloons to work through this base. Nice little freeze spell gets the grounded expo and the Inferno Tower. Down goes that stuff. Balloons making their way over to the Inferno Tower with that Hound still. Nice little haste spell. One more. Just gonna Everything's going to kind of split up now, which is perfect because when he needs these defenses to go down ASAP. Would be nice if you get that Hound to burst, but I don't believe he does in time. Well, maybe he does. Yeah, there goes that hound just in time. So that's perfect because they're going to do cleanup now on the backside. Still has an ace spell, keep in mind as well. <clears throat> Absolutely crushed it. Good job, Kane. Good old Lalos. It's nice to see, but, you know, I still think the state of the game is uh, pretty hurting right now. Um, Hopefully, hopefully we see some changes too. That's 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 all I'm going to say here. Um, so other than that, really, I mean, not a lot. There's no ten v ten action, um, of course, based on what I just said. Uh, but a lot of really nice town hall nine attacks, even though we struggled. And we're kind of lucky that a few of these guys came through with uh, some very nice six pack action. Um, you know, clearing the board for us uh, as best we could with uh, the amount of fails that we had at Town Hall 9. So unfortunate, I definitely added the mix. I had a horrible war myself. Very unfortunate. Good old Kim going in here. Hey, spell goes down and did not think he fully expected the Teslas there. I don't know if it was, was a cleanup. I should have checked it out. Uh, but Kim's really loving these suicide heroes. I think he wanted to pull the clan castle out with those balloons. That must have been what that was. Obviously, the Tessa sort of 
thwarted that plan. Maybe I'm wrong, but as you can see, they got the defensive queen out of the way, and that's really the most important thing here. <clears throat> Going to go ahead and send in the first two hounds, a few balloons, backing it up. Basically just deciding to quad lalo this base altogether. Brings the heal spell, though, I, I thought was nice because I'm... He brought the heal spell for the balloons, I'm like 99% sure, which I would never really think to bring, like, a heal for your loons. But it works out perfectly because you're going to see kind of as the as the Lalo works here, uh, through the base here, everything's going to end up converging on this last air defense. But look at this. Like, he's only got uh, one hound now remaining. Everything else bursts. The hound's going to make its way over. And before the... Uh, uh, before uh, the Hound bursts, he gets that heal spell down, protects these loons on the outside from that expo. Hound's doing the tanking, keeping it alive just long enough, and then it bursts right when everything's right on top of it. So really good job there, freaking Kim. Like, absolutely crush this base. I have a million balloons left. King's drawing some fire on the pups. It doesn't stand a chance. Tree in the bag. Job, buddy. Moving on. 17. Good old Cass. Um, <clears throat> so, I first hit this base. Uh, real quick, give a little background on this one. Because I did want to do a cleanup episode. Uh, of this attack because I first hit this base cast cleaned it up you partially used my plan and made some readjustments and beautifully comes away with the three star here um, unfortunately because of the 24 hour stupid freaking friendly challenge replay rule I gotta get this recap in tonight and then I work all day tomorrow so there's absolutely no chance that I'm going to either A, be able to do a second video tonight, or B, get together with Cass, even, which I would like to do. But so it kind of sucks, you know. Hashtag more replay lifetime on the Friendly Challenge Wars because it sucks, especially for us that don't really make any money off of this uh, kind of stuff. Um, it would be really nice to give us a little bit more time to, to get this content in to promote the game. Anyhow... Exact same walk he decides to go with. Um, reason I liked it is because it's just easy. The queen's going to walk right down into this stuff. This sweeper here, I did notice when I was planning. And Cass reads it perfectly as well. Drops drops the healers as far back to this side as he can. So while he's working through all that trash, the healers aren't affected by the sweeper. Once he steps in, he's going to be able to rage <clears throat> and just bust everything up in through and eventually get the sweeper out of the way, get that expo. Really, the expo is the only threat at this point, and the king, obviously, but poison goes down, clan castle comes out, take care of all that stuff. So a little bit of an adjustment. Pause this one more time real quick. What I had done um, was I dropped the bowlers up here with the healers and the extra healers. Or sorry, I brought three extra healers, more like a healer style, and they got absolutely roasted by this expo and Tesla and... It was just weird. I dropped them right almost, I want to say, on the tip of this army camp. And they like they all split right away. And uh, the, this Arch Tyrant Cannon killed a couple on this side. The healer that the healers were on one bowler, it seemed. I don't know. They split, and it was really just worked out shitty. So the difference that Cass makes here is he goes in after funneling this off of the Baby D with the king and the bowlers. King's going to protect the bowlers and the golem. And just walk into this corner and shred everything using the bowlers. And instead of using Valks like I did to take care of this, brings 12 hogs and a giant and just walks through this spot because he knows there's no bombs. Absolutely not. He has seal spells. Um, I brought hogs for this side. And instead of that, because he knows the queen's going to get that air defense down on the entry, he brings loons for the, these back end point defense. And it works out perfectly. We're going to see this fast forward. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Rage spell goes down, getting sort of double duty on that from either side. You know, queen and king working in there. <clears throat> Bowler's just going to smash through this stuff. So in come these hogs I was talking about. Nice little giant placement, getting the uh, getting as much value as he can out of that one giant he brings. Heal spell down, right over the only bomb in this section. 
just working through the like the, that many hogs, like absolutely crushing all those point in defense, no threats whatsoever. Has his heroes working in, so that air defense is now down. In come the loons for this other side. Just amazing adjustments, gas. Really nice job. Fortunately, um, you brought like whatever it was, fourteen or fourteen or twelve or fourteen hogs. Um, and the queen's not dead, and that usually is a concern when you're bringing hogs because you're just picking off these hogs one at a time. Um, but the queen and bowlers are smashing through the core and going to end up taking her down. Still have so much cleanup. There's healers all over the place, loons all over the place, wizards all over the place. Let's just drop an archer for fun. Cash. Eh, Cass. Absolutely smashed it. Good job, buddy. Nice cleanup. Clean my mess. Um, checking out number twenty-four, Bucko. Loving Bucko bringing this just classic attack. Good old double jump gobo with bowlers. <laughs> Let's get that funnel created. Pretty standard issue. Two golems are in. Nice wizard placements. Just getting good value on that stuff. Gonna open up that wall, Ingle the Valks, Ingle the rest of his Valks in behind. Just gonna work into this base and poison goes down, taking care of that clan castle, drag in a couple of loons. <clears throat> Brings the jump spell, just unlocking that core. Queen is gonna jump actually because she's right on this wall, so she should jump into the core, but brings the jump spell just in case. <clears throat> All his units started working on the core now. See the golem in there. Everything's in there. Valks are in there. Gonna lock on that defensive queen here in a minute. His queen does take a bit of a shopping trip at this point, uh, but it doesn't really matter because you're gonna see how he instantly reacts as this queen works into range of these point defenses. He's gonna instantly react and drop a handful of hogs here. Bam, 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 ability and takes down the cannon and sends in the hogs. Hogs are raiding on Arch Tower on the mortar. Down they go. Queen is now safe to do some more cleanup. <clears throat> and air defense is the only defense remaining. Just absolutely crushed it. Hogs all over the base. Cleanup troops are working their way from six. Beautiful. Tree in the bag for Bucko. Nice job, buddy. Uh, moving on, number 25, good old gravy. <clears throat> Let's just bring 24 hogs, two golems, a bunch of wizards, a uh, pretty standard issue attack. And I think the reason he saw this was the very symmetrical design of the base. Um, just really just wanted to exploit it. I love the way he forces his troops with the jump spell, as you're going to see here in a minute. <clears throat> Just creating the standard issue funnel from nine, letting uh, opening up the uh, the compartment there, letting everything in. Here come the bowlers. There goes the queen. King is down. Everything's moving and poison spell down. Taking care of the clan castle troops and boom. Here goes that jump. He purposely does not connect that queen compartment. He does not want any troops going up into this queen chamber. He wants to work them down into this Tesla. Work them work them down towards the defensive king. Take care of all the value down here, the juicy bombs, everything you can get out of the deal before he sends in his hogs. Basically, he only wants his hogs to have to deal with the 12 to 9 section. So he knows he's going to bring a heal spell for the expo, which uh, I'm pretty sure this is clean up. He knows where the Teslas are there. Just going to heal basically over that one location and be A-OK -okay because he's got 22 hogs coming in on the move from 3 o'clock here, 2 o'clock here. <clears throat> they're just going to absolutely just shred through all these compartments. Not a lot of spring traps. Not he's, he's just, even if there was, it doesn't matter. He's got so many units moving in. Queen is still looking good down at the six o'clock location, working on the wall. Still has that ability intact. So everything's going to meet up at nine o'clock here in one second. Heal spells down, like I was talking about. There goes that expo. Boom, bomb, doesn't matter. Let's jump. Oh, we do. Heal spell might have been a second early. He does lose a handful of hogs there. But it doesn't matter. He's got more than enough. A few hogs there for cleanup. Nice little queen ability there. A few more trash buildings. Awesome. Gravy comes away with the tree. 
Boom. Good job, my friend. Uh, moving on, number 26, DH, another six pack champ, I'm pretty sure. Bringing this Pekka Smash with six baby drags. I really like this army comp. Three rages with the jump spell. Goes in and just gets that queen down and start working in towards these defensive heroes. Couple whiz helping uh, helping her move it along there. Keep her going in the right direction. Gets that baby D now nice and early. Continuing to just get try and get value. I don't think he meant to drop it in the air defense range. Right on this edge, he would have got that building and then the army cap. So I think he was going for it, but whatever got the one building out of the deal, I guess. It's fine. This town hall is going to go down. Queen's going to end up engaging this king and this queen here in a second. Take care of the defensive heroes. So down goes that king. Down goes the queen. See you later, guys. Going to go ahead and rage that up. Get a little tight there on health, but just in time gets it down. Fortunately, the rage spell is not on the queen. It's only on the healers, but doesn't matter. She's going to continue to work her way down now to 6 o'clock. Goes ahead and gets that one golem in. Starts creating that funnel. The couple trash buildings down here on the outside is going to go ahead and drop the king and the pekkas and the bolas. Let's go ahead and open up that wall. Comes the clan castle. It is all minions. It's always a deadly clan castle for your uh, queen at times, but... Goes ahead and hits the ability just in time. Man, absolutely crazy how deadly all those minions can be to your queen. So jump spells down. Every single unit DH has dropped is now walking into the core. Like nothing walked whatsoever. Not a wizard, not a nothing, right? Everything's in the core under rage. Smashing that very, very compact core up. Really just needs to work work his way through these Teslas on this one side, take care of that 12 o'clock, take care of that 9 o'clock and the troll Tesla on the outside, and it's GG. And we still got three more baby dragons to, to deploy all over the map. Just take care of trash. Crushing this base DH. Don't know if he's lost a bowler. There's at least, at least three bowlers, I want to say. Yeah, four bowlers. Four bowlers, two peck is king. We got a we got a baby D in the pocket. Even though his queen went down, just has so many units left. Boom. Tree in the bag for DH. Six pack, buddy. Uh, Twenty eight. Got Derp Do coming in here. Nice little shattered Lalo. Um, interesting base, really, really different base designs from uh, Val Morgalis. So definitely a lot of credit to their town online base building uh, team. Like I said, we ended up having to use a lot of bullies. A lot of it was because just very, uh, very uncommon uh, base designs that we were not used to, and I think caught our town lines off guard a little bit, um, just in their planning and their execution and in their uh, pathing planning. I guess uh, most importantly. Uh, but not for Derp here on this attack because he's just going to go ahead and walk right in, jump right in between these two air defense. thought this was just a really good breakdown of the base. Um, you know, these two air defense being so close with both heroes right in between. Just asking for this exact attack to happen. <clears throat> so go ahead and take care of those clan castle troops. Queen is in there finishing off that baby D. She's going to jump on in and help all this stuff out. King ability goes down. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and drop these Lava Hounds in on this 12 o'clock air defense. Loon sprinkled in all over the place. No, sp uh, one rage, my bad, sorry, for the uh, for the Loons here. But other than that, no haste to work them through the rest of this base. So really just relying on the overall brute force of this kill squad, which is still going, by the way, all the way up to this 9 o'clock section. Bowler's doing work, Queen doing work. Uh, ability still intact, but not for long. <clears throat> nice to lay. I want. I bet he was watching the screen. He's like, "Come on, come on." Cannon goes down. Nice. I don't have to waste it. But anyways, as you can see, there's these troll Teslas on the outside. Uh, these balloons are gonna work their way over to it. I don't think they get to it in time. No, that's right. <laughs> Look at this golem. This golem's like, oh, those Teslas. They're so far. They're so far. It's fast forward. Oh, balloons going down, going down, going down. 
<laughs> but Golem, Golem, Hero Golem always takes it, but all the pups arrive, finish it off. Tree in the bag, derp a do. Good job, buddy. One more. Let's call it a day. A night, because it's like 1 a.m. Uh, another in very interesting base design. Like I said, very creative base designs for uh, VM. A lot of credit. Um, Ryan really recognized a very sexy Max Earthquake right there. And he's going to abuse that fact with this sort of mass baby drag. I'm still sort of astonished when I see these attacks. I don't know. I, my confidence in my troops aren't as great as I feel they need to be <laughs> when you do this attack. Because your queen is just beast mode. It's, the idea is the queen is going to get all four of these air defense. And he's just going to use baby drags all around the outside. Take everything else out. Use his king in there with some bowlers. Take care of one side of the base. Make sure that queen goes in. Help out with the clan castle troops a little bit. That's it. That is this attack, <laughs> basically. Rage your queen, charge her in, kill all the air defense, and baby drag the shit out of it. <clears throat> so we're, you're going to see that exactly. Air defense number one is down. Rage spell goes down. going to work this queen through this stuff very, very quickly. Already getting those baby Ds on the outside, sort of helping keeping your funnel up and into the base. That's, that's the idea. You just got to make sure you control where she goes. Using those baby Ds, using using those extra units. Second rage goes down, and the second air defense is down. About to work on an expo, and as you can see, not. I talk about this in, in a lot of recaps. Um, a couple, not even really. This whole core really didn't have any. High, it's all defenses, like all defenses. So getting a queen into the core like this is just retarded value because she doesn't have to, every building she goes to attack is a different defense. Um, she doesn't get stuck up on a town hall. She doesn't get stuck up on a DE storage, right? She's just going to defense, 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 defense. All air defenses are down. We still got two baby drags in the pocket, not to mention a bunch of them working around the base still at this point. Bam, 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 bam. Tree stars in the bag for Mr. Ryan the Great. Good job, my friend. Mm. Absolutely perfect. Just took the last sip of my beer. So you know what that means. It's late. I'm going to call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed. 2.0 is now 2-0 and in CWL midseason. Loving it. Hashtag playoff bound. Let's do this, guys. Love you, 2.0. Uh, VM, thanks for the great work, guys. Was a pleasure. Um, that'll do it for your wisdom wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.